Hola amigos, and welcome to Looking at Cards. I'm Pedro Boyd, aka Duro, aka Texan Spaniard on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, Instagram Studios on Patreon and Coffee. And this is my show all about looking at cards. I am a big fan of trading cards, but also I am a big fan of playing cards. And this week, we are going to look at some super cool playing cards that I have. Um, they're from Bicycle, and they are uh, about Bigfoot. Yes, the monster. Not the monster truck, but the monster. The cryptid. Bigfoot. This is going to be so awesome. These are super cool playing cards. Uh, real quick, uh, my last computer died. I've got a new computer, so uh, music and stuff is different. Uh, we're, we're getting used to it, so uh, let's see how it goes. But uh, here we go. All right, here we go, and look at this. Here it is, Bicycle Bigfoot Playing Cards. Look at that awesome packaging. Join the hunt, you'll find the perfect game with this unique deck of cards. Yeah, these are very cool cards. Um, Bicycle makes super nice cards. Uh, I think y'all are going to enjoy these. These are really cool. Uh, when I got them, I was super, I was super happy to get them because they're they're like really cool. Uh, so yeah, we may have a new computer and everything, but you see, it's the same pizza backdrop. The pizza backdrop remains. Uh, so yeah, I gotta pull these out, and yeah, here's what you know the back side, the front side, whatever you want to get. Yeah, that's what that looks like. And here we go. Where are they? You get a rundown of all the monsters you're gonna see in this. And where they're located at. Bigfoot is everywhere. Ohio Grassman is Ohio. Blah, blah, blah. Wendigo is Canada. The Uku is Argentina. Etc. And here, get a seat at the table. They tell you where you can find them. On Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Lots of places to find them. And here we go. Bigfoot has a monster truck named after him. You don't. So these all have little uh, jokes and, and uh, you know, supposedly factoids. Uh, Bigfoot has been green since day one. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's been green. Bigfoot has been on paleo diet for years. Bigfoot is taking time to find himself. You do that, Bigfoot. Save the Bigfoot. Bigfoot is on the endangered species list of several countries. Save the Bigfoot. You gotta save the Bigfoot. Bigfoot is immune to pepper spray. Uh, how they know this, we don't know. <laughs> you need a big tissue to nab the Texas booger. Bigfoot is the reigning hide-and-seek champion, 100 years and counting. Can't find Bigfoot. Uh, Bigfoot may be closer than you think. Keep that in mind, amigos. Oh, here we go. The Yura Yura Yuli Yura Yuli. Well, whatever, however you pronounce it, that's super nice looking art. Let's see who's the queen. It is, it is the Uku from Argentina. That is very cool. And ooh, the California Desert Sasquatch. He's lean and he's kind of mean looking. Be scary to run into. Then the Texas Booger. That's a big hairy dude. Squatching is another name for Bigfoot watching. Smelly surprise, the skunk ape has a foul musty odor. Hence the name. Big appetite. Bigfoot eats 5,000 calories a day. How they know this, we don't know. They don't <laughs> to say that they've never had one in captivity. Big leaper. Bigfoot can jump up to 10 feet. Again, uh, how they came to these conclusions, we don't know. Large but nimble, Bigfoot can run 30 miles per hour. We'll just have to take their word for it. 
You can't always see Bigfoot, but Bigfoot can always see you. Bigfoot doesn't believe in you either. Damn. Damn. Bigfoot doesn't get the sniffles. He can't sneeze. How do they know he can't sneeze? Bigfoot gets around. There have been sightings on nearly every continent. This is true. And ooh, the Medi Howler. He looks very sophisticated. Ooh, it's Bigfoot. Ooh, it's a skunk ape. Oh, yeah, it looks like he's a nasty smeller. It looks like he smells nasty. Ooh, it's Big Muddy. These are really cool. I love the illustrations on these. They're very nice in my opinion. Has anyone ever seen a baby Bigfoot? Well, there, there is that uh, that one Memorial Day footage, supposedly. You see it on their back. Gotta stay up late to see one. Bigfoot are nocturnal. Going south for the winter? People report seeing Bigfoot as far south as Florida. Where the skunk ape resides. Follow that trail. Bigfoot leaves footprints and broken branches behind. Ooh. The nose knows. Dogs can smell Bigfoot from over 50 yards away. Tread lightly. Bigfoot footprints have been found for over 70 years. Bigfoot prefer the great outdoors. They avoid cities and towns. Can you imagine going like to the store and there's Bigfoot? Bigfoot phone home. Some people believe Bigfoot is from outer space. There's also a theory that Bigfoot are like from another dimension. Not just from outer space, but like from a whole other dimension. Bigfoot must like coffee and rainy days. He hangs out in the Pacific Northwest. Because rainy days and Mondays always make Bigfoot frown. Ooh, it's the Yowie. Check that out. That's really nice. That was cool. Ooh, the urine. Man, these they did a, a, a wonderful job on these illustrations, in my opinion. Ooh, the white Yeti. He is not happy. Ooh, the Wendigo from Canada. Look at that thing. That is super cool. He's a shy guy. Bigfoot likes to keep to himself. If everyone was hunting you, you'd hide too. Bigfoot's not elusive. He's just reclusive. Listen up. Bigfoot communicates using growls, grunts, and chirps. Well, I thought he was most known for howls. No comb overs needed. Bigfoot's hair is several inches long. No shirt, shoes, no service is Bigfoot's biggest problem. Yeah, that would be a big problem for Bigfoot. He's kind of letting it all hang out. What is Bigfoot's favorite card game? <laughs> Solitaire. Wow, wow, wow. Tall, dark, and hairy. Bigfoot averages 8 to 10 feet tall. Again, how do we know this? <laughs> hey, Missouri, show me the Momo. And there's Sasquatch. Ooh. Look at them big feet. There's Orang Pendek. There's the Momo. Oh, look how big the head is. Momo's head is huge. And the Ohio Grassman. I think all that's left now are the Joker cards. 
How does a Yeti get to work? By icicle. <laughs> Where would you find books about Bigfoot? In the large print section. Aww. Oh, one last look at the the other side. And that should be it for, uh, yeah, Bigfoot playing cards. Uh, that was very cool. I really enjoyed those. Uh, that set always makes me happy when I go through it because it, it's just really nice. Anyways, um, I'm not sure what we'll be doing next week, but I want to thank all of you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please hit sub uh, like the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. You'll get more videos like this. And every Saturday morning, me amigos James Extreme Zorno and God of Thunder, Zeus King Dark, and I do the Mark Out Mania Saturday morning podcast where we talk about wrestling and other stuff. Who knows what all can come up. And, uh, yeah, maybe sometime in the future, music specials will return, but I lost a whole music special recently when my computer died, so, yeah, we'll see what happens with music specials in the future. But, yes, yeah, thank you for watching. Everyone take care. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. And adios.